morning cactus people I thought I'd take this opportunity while the uh, Echinopsis flowers are out they've just come out this morning again uh, to have a look at the seed pods or some of the seed pods that we've got this year um, the first one is uh, Mammalaria gracilis um, we wouldn't want to harvest these seed pods um, because the plant has so many pups but uh, you would want to if you were um, hybridising it with another Mammalaria uh, I just bought this in because they're pretty and these will stay on the plant for um, most of the winter as well before they shrivel up so it's a bit of something to look at in the winter uh, these uh, Cory Fanta if that's how you pronounce it uh, these pods have been on here since last year and um, we will actually open these up and have a look because they're not going red but I'm pretty sure they must be ripe by now because they should be flowering again very shortly yeah there's some flower buds um, just in there coming on so those need to come off so we'll do that in a minute uh, but talking of Echinopsis which these are you may remember a few weeks ago we did a video of um, some lilac and purple Echinopsis or pink Echinopsis and for those we actually tickled the flowers with a um, paintbrush we crossed them over to get pollination that's one of them and this one's the other and both of them have grown huge seed pods you can still see the um, the pink flower on that one the remnants of it uh, normally the Echinopsis flowers if they're not fertile they'll drop off straight away uh, these are um, some from the other Echinopsis down here earlier flowering as you can see no seed pod on the end of it and these drop off the following day a few days later there's um, no substance in them at all because they, they just simply weren't fertilized um, if I do tickle both of these with a paintbrush between two separate plants we'll probably get seed pods on there uh, I did have some last year but um, the seedlings came up but they didn't survive over the winter they died off but, um, another one this hasn't got seed pods on it yet this is Daz's um, Gymnocolysium a variegated one which is still flowering weeks after it started uh, you can see the stems underneath uh, these are where the um, seeds will form if they do get uh, pollinated. I crossed this one with um, a red baldianum and a, a white uh, damsy eye the other day, so we could get some interesting babies on that. And here's a uh, Mihanovici eye that um, the seed pods have formed. These, these were fertilised. I'm not going to pick these today because they won't be anywhere near ripe yet. Uh, but you can see the difference if um, it hadn't been fertilised these would have fallen off by now so they'll stay on there until they're ripe uh, this one is a little parodia I've got a few thousand of these and uh, I've opened up one of the seed pods so you can have a look you can see there's um, probably 50 odd seeds in there easily uh, they're still wet, but um, I'll get these in very shortly. Not that I need many more of these at the moment, but um, if you leave the seeds too long, sometimes they, they won't um, germinate. They, with cactus seed, it's best to get them in as fresh as you can. Uh, so I won't take the seed pods off the Echinopsis at the moment because I don't think they're anywhere near ripe. Uh, but the Corifanta, we will we'll take this one off here um, just slice it down with a knife oh it's full of liquid and something's a bit spiky there and let's open it up you're seeing this at the same time as I'm seeing it yeah lots of seed in there I hope the camera's focusing on that and it's dripping with juice and it's got a very lemony smell to it, it smells um, quite pleasant uh, if, if I was a bat or something, I'd probably want to eat that. It's, uh, lots of seed in there, so we'll uh, definitely be planting these later. What I'll do, I'll put them in here. If you were collecting lots of seeds, have some containers ready and 
as soon as you put them in there put a label on write the name on and put that in there with them because if you're doing more than one lot and you come back to it later you think oh which one was that so probably best not write that on there straight away even though i'm going to plant them shortly probably best to uh, keep it all written down but uh yeah i'll uh, take these other pods i won't cut them now <coughs> and then that'll be ready for flowering yeah there's two proto buds coming up in the middle of that don't know if you can see that uh, these have lovely big yellow flowers and they, um, they flower for quite a while as well so looking forward to those i've got another one on the uh, bench that's also got seed pods on so um yeah there'll probably be a hundred maybe more seeds in there so we'll get some of those on the go and have some babies very shortly i've not grown this one from seed i don't know how long it takes so um just hope it's uh, a bit quicker than these echinopsis this uh, echinopsis um parodia this one's four years old now i think so uh, a bit slow growing there uh, but we do have two thousand of these already so i think that was it on the seed pod front uh there'll be some others on the mammal areas uh, later on in the, um, the year um, they produce long red seed pods and I'll, I'll probably do a separate video of those uh it's also something slugs really love so um <clears throat> just be aware of that if you see slug trails on your plants it's because um they're probably after the seed pods they do find them tasty okay i think that's it for now thank you for watching everyone i'm ziggy searchfield and we are the cactus people <laughs>